Hello there everybody, welcome back to another Lost Ark video, and I know uh, the title of the video, uh, look, it's October progress and it's November, what the heck man, listen, uh, listen, 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 okay, listen, listen, listen to me closely, okay, listen, this is still my progress for October, so even though it's coming out on like November 3rd or 4th, I don't know when I'm putting this out, it still counts, right, smiley face, listen, not much has been really going on, uh, which is kind of why I just kind of forgot to make a sort of progression overview for the month of October, but I still think it's worth doing, and I like logging this stuff kind of for my own mental, just to kind of see where I've, where my head was at, where I w was at, and like what I accomplished over each month, because you have to keep in mind, like, a lot of these videos are also for like, you know, they're basically e-logs, you know, for me, um, but... My main character, my Soul Fist 1680, my my little baby. Um, I mean, I didn't main swap. I re realistically never thought I would main swap. I want. I mean, in a perfect world, I would have main swapped to Soul Eater because I like Knight's Edge a lot more. I just like Soul Eater as a class. I think this it it's it fits my playstyle a lot, but I think there's just too much investment into my Soul Fist and. I think the the turning point for me swapping mains would have been before I advanced honed my soul fist. But once I already advanced honed my soul fist, I don't think there's any reasonable way for me to have a main swap. And it's like you could say technically you could. I mean, I have 1.5 mil gold right now. I could have spent that gold before because I, I didn't have this much, but I had, excuse me, I had a bit of gold going into tier four. I could have just spent that gold on like advanced honing my soul eater and then main swap, but. My plan going into tier 4 was I was only going to play super casually because it's no surprise that I I've been getting kind of burned out on the game but it's not because of the gameplay so much as it is the direction of the game in general. I don't agree with the direction that this game has been going in and the things that continually keep happening do not put faith into the company behind the game whether it be smilegate or amazon i'm not here to split hairs and who to blame all i know is the direction is not good and i do not like the direction and that's a totally personal opinion that i'm allowed to have it's okay you can think the game is good i can think the game is not good and when i say not good i mean like the direction of it um and I will elaborate a little bit in case you want to hear what exactly I mean when I say I don't like the direction of the game. So it's no surprise that I think one of, and I mean, I've advocated for this since basically the beginning of my content creation career, if you can call it that. Like new players are the lifeblood of a video game, right? And if new players are not funneling in, then your game, while it might not be dead currently, it is certainly not in a good spot because if you're not cycling in new players you're just going to eventually keep losing people to time to other interests to new games whatever it may be and especially in the game lost ark the way that it's set up the treadmill design once you get off the treadmill it's very hard to get back onto the treadmill um because of the psychological factors and that's like a design choice, and I dislike that specifically. I dislike the prey upon FOMO sort of thing that they have going on here, and the way to catch up is by spending money. I think they monetize the game first, and then the gameplay comes second. Maybe the gameplay doesn't even come second, but you get the idea. The gameplay might come third or fourth, whatever, but the general idea behind what I'm saying is the same. Um, so that's what I mean when I say I don't like the direction of the game because I do think a lot of the things that they're doing are good But there's always that but identifier, which is the problem They get close, but they don't get there, right? I think ignite servers are a perfect example and the Makoko bootcamp shit is another perfect example ignite servers conceptually are good but in execution it just falls short, right? Ignite servers ended up being just, honestly, if we're being honest with each other, like man to man, man to woman, woman to woman, um, 
if we're being honest with ourselves, it, it, it benefited veterans more than it benefited the new players or returning players, which is the demographic that the Ignite server was set up for was returners or new players, right? And I think that is a problem. And they did nothing to fix the problem. They just were like, well, fuck it. We already dropped it. We can't change anything. And then the way that they handled the exploits and stuff, we already know all that. I'm not a big fan of that. I'm also not a big fan of pushing like some of the bigger exploits under the rug, such as the gold duplication thing. Um... But again, I'm not here to just bitch about one singular thing. This is what I mean. It's not one singular thing. I'm not looking at one thing and going, yeah, I don't like that. I don't like the game anymore. It's it's like a trend, right? And that's what I don't like. I don't like the trend, the direction. Uh, and then for the Makoko Boot Camp, again, I think this is a fantastic idea. It's just the implementation of that idea is not so good. What I mean by this is... The requirements to get the Makoko Leaf is fucking ridiculous, man. I'm sure if you are watching this video, you've likely seen uh, those screenshots floating around of people with, like, Theamine the First titles having the Makoko Leaf because they didn't log in the last 60 days. Look, man, somebody with Theamine the First should not be a Makoko Leaf, right? They just factually should not be. It should just be very simply... They have an item level restriction on it, which is 1660. If you have a 1660 or higher on your account, you can't get it, right? I think that makes sense. So all they had to do is either apply that reduction downward, or what they could have done is you get the Makoko Leaf based on a per raid basis. If you have X amount of clears in that raid, you no longer have the Makoko Leaf. If you don't have that X amount of clears, whatever that X number, they can pick that X number, then you have the Makoko Leaf. But this is what I mean. They get close, they just don't quite get there. And then they do not do anything to fix it afterwards. Maybe I will eat my words in next maintenance they will address this Makoko stuff. And I hope they do. Do not get me wrong. I don't want to sit here and be like, haha, I told you so, they wouldn't do anything. I genuinely hope they fix it. Because I want the game to be going in a more positive and better direction. But as it currently stands, I just dislike it. Jesus Christ, that was like a five-minute, like, explanation as to why I went casual. But I do get a lot of comments asking, like, what do you mean, casual, blah, 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 this, that. This is why. If you want to know why, this little snippet is kind of what I mean. Uh, and this is why I wanted to go casual and kind of why I've been burnt out on this game. Obviously, the community plays a big part into it, too. I dislike the... the, the I, I dislike the portion of the community that... You, you know the community, the portion of the community that I'm talking about. Surely, if you go on Reddit, um, I know Reddit is not a good, good indicator, but I mean, this game subreddit is not great. I'll say, in terms of um, the vocal minority slash majority, depending on how you look at it, because I do think the player base that is left probably think similarly to most of these people than not at this point because this game has fostered a very niche kind of um community because it's a very niche game which is why the only people that will still endure this stuff are the ones continually playing it and over time the people who aren't drop off right just it's just like a natural progression um anyways that being said though that's why i wanted to be um casual progression on my soul fest and I was initially going to do normal mode Aegir, but uh, I got into a group with one of my, well, a couple of my friends. They were like, hey, we have a slot, come, you're, you're coming. And I was like, okay, well, I guess I can't really, I mean, I could have said no, but I was like, eh. Hard mode Aegir drops ancient accessories, and ancient accessories are kind of required anyways. Well, Shaza is the raid where I really think I'll just be able to do normal mode because normal mode drops the same progression materials, just slower, and also it drops ancient accessories. So there's like no loss there between normal and hard mode, whereas there is definitely a loss between normal mode Aegir and hard mode Aegir because the only source of ancient accessories in the game right now is from hard mode Aegir. Um, and I think maybe the world boss has the chance of dropping them. I don't remember. I don't recall. I'm sorry. I'm not an encyclopedia, unfortunately. But that being said... Um, that's my, that's my plan going forward. And I do want to swap to Arc Passive, and I'm also going to be playing Robust in Arc Passive because I did some digging, and by digging I mean I looked at the community guide for Solfus because it's not something that I have done really. Um, and it turns out the Koreans allegedly were all wrong based on EO versus RS, which doesn't surprise me, but also it's like, how do you get 
every bit of information wrong consistently. Um, and I'll be able to stay robust, which is nice because I enjoy robust. I just like it more. And I wasn't super excited about the prospect of dropping QOL, i.e. Energy Blast, to swap to EO just because it did more damage. Um, and it's just muscle memory and comfortability thing. Look, man. I like Robust. I always have liked it. It is what it is. I've played EO a bit in Hell Mode content. It's just, it's fine. It's just not for me. Uh, in Spec EO, I that just honestly sounds miserable. Um, I played Swift EO, obviously. But I will transition into Arc Passive whenever it makes sense to me. I'm not going to rush it, clearly. I could technically transition. Now I have two pieces of armor, but I'm level 66, as you can see. I'm not rushing shit. I just don't care, man. I put, Like I said, I play this game super casually. I barely do any raids. Um, I do my dailies, though. I do. Because uh, they only take like an hour. And honestly, an hour while I'm doing other work isn't so bad. I mean, maybe it takes like two hours when I'm, I'm doing my other work with this. But you know what I mean, hopefully. Uh, and my plan for the rest of my ults is to keep them at 1640 for the foreseeable future. And again, if I want to hone them up, I'll always have the option to as they accumulate shards from doing dailies and stuff. And as you can see, raid-wise, I've done Echidna Aegir on this character. I've done Echidna here because we one-shot re-cleared Aegir. So we did a couple extra homework raids with the static. And I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll come. Fuck it. But I'm taking a much more laid back casual approach to this game and i'm enjoying it a lot more i do hope that the direction of the game changes so i can be more excited for the game but i'm not holding my breath anymore at this point it's been nearly three years of the same thing over and over and over and over and over at certain point you have to be like who's the clown here the clown is me if i think things will get better right i don't know um anyways that's my progression and that's sort of my thoughts and stuff this turned into a bit more of a explaining why rather than anything else, but hey. I know I get a lot of comments asking me or telling me like, meh, 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 this and that, and I'm just like... I, I know I explain it in bits and pieces throughout my videos, but I figure explaining everything in my thought process in one video might be helpful, so I guess that's why I did it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Like the video if you like it, subscribe and all that good stuff, and I'll see you all in the next one. Consider becoming a member, all that good stuff. Thank you to my longtime members, Remix My Life. I'm new for you guys are the best tier twos. I love you both. And of course, it's Biscuits Inner Diz. You guys are all my greatest friends. I love you all. And I love all you viewers as well. I truly do. There's not enough love in this fucking world, and I love giving it out. See you all in the next one. Bye!